Hello everyone, just getting back from DC. Just want to catch up for a quick minute and give an update of this last week. Um, it's going to be a, a very quick weekend, heading down to um, uh, Utah Valley tomorrow to visit an airport and one of the high schools. So anyway, real quick uh, uh, kind of uh, update in terms of what's happened back in DC. <clears throat> we had a, a, a couple bills that I'm going to run through real quickly. Uh, some you're going to wonder, uh, how can this be happening in DC? And but uh, it is it is what it is, and thank goodness I'm so thankful that uh, the Republican Party now has a majority. So you can start seeing a lot of activity, a lot of work, and a lot of oversight, and a lot of education to you, which is very important for us. So to start off with what we call the Show Up Act, we passed the Show Up Act, which basically says the, the close to 50 percent of federal workers who have not been showing up for the last two years, like every one of us have been doing, and getting paid by not showing up. Uh, some of them are, uh, thousands of them, from what I'm hearing, have actually have gotten some COVID relief income and, um, and also unemployment, believe it or not. So that's now being looked at. And the most important thing is we have oversight and, and, and those folks are being um, uh, you know, identified is that we're saying it's now time to come back to work. Uh, we need to make sure passports and all the things, the, the VA, the, the VA uh, issues and, and um, uh, problems that we're having, those things cannot happen if people are not in office to go through it. So anyway, that's going to happen. We're going to end, we voted to end the national emergency. Uh, this is something that uh, the, our president said last year, that the national emergency should be over because COVID, uh, COVID is, it, it is what it is and not that it's going to stop, but we need to get back to work. <clears throat> so uh, one of the things that is beneficial, now we made this point earlier in the week when we passed this bill. A day later, the president came out saying that they, he wanted to end the national emergency uh, in May, th th uh, th three months from now. We're saying, no, we have to do it now. Uh, one thing about this emergency, as long as it's around, it gives um, uh, uh, the president the ability to use national emergency powers to defray college tuition repayment. Uh, it makes absolutely no sense. It, it, and, and, well, if you understand how this president works and thinks it does, but for most of us, that makes no sense. So we're gonna end up uh, ending that process. We also have something called denouncing the horrors of socialism. Now, uh, for those who have not been taught our history, uh, this last century, we had over 100 million people killed, starved, tortured, um, uh, the whole bit from countries like uh, Cambodia, Cuba, Iran, you name it. Any places that this despotic uh, 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 anti God uh, uh, ideology, and that's what socialism is in Marxism. You're going to find this. So as we talk about the the the, uh, the threat to our nation, we talk about things like socialism and, and Marxism. Know that we have people in Congress, unfortunately. In this case here, the Democrats, uh, 89 voted against it. 15 voted present, even though they were there presently. But they cannot get themselves to say that socialism is bad. That socialism is horrible, that it, it, it uh, demeans and it hurts and harms people, but it is what it is. So that's what we're up against. So just know that we talk about this ideology, uh, it's real, and we have to make sure we continue to fight it. Okay, <clears throat> um, I, re I reintroduced uh, my bill called the Recovery Act. Uh, <clears throat> there are literally billions of dollars um, out of the American Rescue Plan that has not been spent. 88% uh, of those funds that, that were put out last year across the country, I'm sorry, 77% uh, across the country has not been spent. In the state of Utah, 86% of these funds that have been allocated, given to the states, given to the districts, have not been spent. And we're saying instead of targeting COVID, let's target, let's target uh, a learning loss. There's still a few things that we can now give scholarships to low-income families it's already here it's already in the districts so they can do things like uh tuition um private school tuition if they want to do that testing fees um uh education uh, for uh education therapy for special needs um anything curriculum uh information or or tools they might need anything that that the parent believes that child might need to bring them back they should be getting that support. So that's going to be the Recovery Act, which I dropped it uh, actually today. So we'll be voting on it probably next week. Um, I am, uh, have been, uh, this week, I was uh, uh, put on the committee, on, selected to be on the Transportation Infrastructure Committee. Very, very excited about that. 
Uh, we are the fastest growing state of the last 20, uh, since 2020 in the union. And there's a reason why that's the case is because of the culture we have here, the way we collaborate, the way we focus and, and envision uh, our future. So I'm gonna make sure that we're represented at the table. The other one is I, uh, I'm on the education and workforce committee and I will be sub chair for the higher education. Cannot wait to get started with that. As we know, we have a lot of issues in higher education and uh, do some studying, do some reading. Matter of fact, there's a great book I'm gonna highlight for everybody who really wants to understand what's been happening the last 100 years called Battle for the American Mind by Pete Hesse. And that will give you an idea. We talk about this culture that's been undermining our, our nation. We get kids coming out, uh, not loving our country, not knowing how to read and write, uh, but being activists. Uh, this is where we have to start uh, uh, dealing with this. So I'm excited about being part of that uh, solution. And um, and again, we'll keep you tuned in so that every uh, uh, every week that I come back, you get an idea of what's going on. Please feel free to reach out to my district office. If you have questions, um, um, you want to email, uh, uh, you know, whatever the concerns might be. Um, anyway, so just feel free to do that. And we have remarkable staff that will be taking your calls and, and make sure they respond to you, okay? All righty. Well, listen, have a great, great weekend. Um, looking forward to doing this again next week when we get back, head back on Monday morning. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye.